Hello, this is Samadan and Stavadan. They are on a journey to make gold. In the last episode, we made a bank halt with Stavadan, and he has joined the team to help with selling and buying on the auction house. In this episode, they are going to have adventures of their own. Let's start with Stavadan. We are all settled safely in Shatrath, ready to make use of the auction house. We have just over a thousand gold in our pockets and some stock of materials ready for when the market is right. First, the exciting part. What's in the mailbox today? Oh my, that's a lot of sales. Tempest hide, true iron ore, some nether weave, and a few more bits and pieces. Over 4,000 in sales, that's amazing. Right, collect it all up and let's put the expires back on the auction house. Whoops, looks like my scroll wheel macro fell off. We can quickly put that back on in the settings and then repost. There we go, much better. That sometimes happens with the new characters. You just have to put it back on again. With all our auctions on, we can check for a vendor search just in case. Those green items look quite good. We'll pick those up. That's a 10 gold and 3 gold on those. That will give me a nice 16 gold easy. The rest don't seem quite worth it, so I'll leave those for someone else. Okay, next up is potential relics. A good idea to see if there are any cheap ones on, now we have some capital. That deep sea satin is cheap. I wonder if I could reset that market. It's quite easy to get hold of, so my control will be limited. I'll leave it for now. Let's look at another weave cloth. I discovered on beta that this can now be used to make a relic 5 with just 7 cloth, so I have a feeling prices on these are going to rise. I have to be careful because the posting costs are high for this one. Let's see what we have. Okay, there's a nice gap here between 1 gold and 1 gold 74. It would make sense to buy these up here and put some more on at a higher price. Time to see what we still have left in our stock. What's linen cloth doing? Going up in price a fair amount. Our smart average buy price is similar here. There would be quite a lot to buy out at this price, but I'm not confident the price will hold here, so maybe time to leave it for now. Instead, I'll go and pick up my purchases and deal with those. Okay, we need a vendor to sell these greens to. There's one, that's convenient. I'll sell those and get my money back. Right, back to the auction house. Silk cloth we already have a thousand on, so we're good there. Our smart average buy price is 78 silver, so that's a good margin. Nether weave, our average is a really good 37 silver. Let's try 600 at 12 hours and see if those sell. The deposit is 7 gold, so not too excessive. Tin ore? Oh dear, uh, prices have plummeted again. My smart average buy is way too high for this. I'll have to come in here at 3 gold 24 to see any profit. Thankfully, the deposit fee is minimal, so it makes sense to park some here and see if they sell. Okay, that's Stabadan all set for now. I've got 4,747 gold, ready to invest, and I still have some stock available. We're in a really good position. I'm excited to head over to Samadan and get him ready for his next adventure. Hello Samadan, how are you? We've not played you in a little while, time for another adventure. We've got our pocket money here if we want to buy anything nice on our travels. The bags are all clear, the auction house is looking empty. Best to check both before leaving so TSM can register everything has moved to Stavadan. I think for our next adventure we're going to head back to the Swamp of Sorrows. Our flight points have opened up nicely here, so we can get a direct flight via Bog Paddle Airways to our holiday destination of swamps and gators. Maybe there'll be a hidden holiday resort here. The good thing is we know the herbs and all sell well, so we can gather those up as well as adventure on our quests. Let's fly! Please keep all your hands and legs firmly attached to your griffin at all times during the flight. In case of emergency, the exit is straight down. Depending on your class abilities, you may or may not survive. I hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Oh look, there's Redridge. I remember being there. Nice view from here. Oh look, here's Bog Paddle. It looks a really nice sunny place. <laughs> Until we land, of course. Wow, that got murky quickly. Oh well, we can enjoy somewhere new anyway. Let's start by picking up the quests here. Ah, this must be the resort. A couple of towels on the beach and the goblins are happy. There's another quest here, I'll pick that up. I'm also going to set my hearthstone here at the inn, 
That way I can finish at any time and get to a rested area next to the mailbox. The perfect situation for sending to my bank alt. All that done, time to adventure away. Travel form, here we go. Time to follow the quests. Oh, it looks like we have a friend here doing the same. We don't need to be grouped to share the rewards, so it makes sense to tag along together while we're doing the same thing. I can help by grabbing a few mobs and bringing them back together. So there we go. Cooperation at its best. Underwater travel form is so easy and convenient. We're done here and on to the next section. Looks like we're heading into the swamp a bit more for some wildlife. There's quite a few herbs around here too, so I can maximise my time. All pretty straightforward. And we've dinged 42. Brilliant, this is going well. I've started another quest segment over here, but time is running short for me, so I'll half stone back and get ourselves set up for sending over. Okay, back at the inn. First thing is to sell any junk. Azeroth Autopilot helps with that. We've got a nice head upgrade here, that's good. Some miscellaneous bits and pieces here, and some clams that need opening. Brilliant, pretty good so far. Time to have a look at our groups. Now, if I was going to use the same profile as Stabadan, I could build the groups by adding the individual parts by category like this, and then carry on from there. However, I want to treat these completely differently now. These characters are doing separate things, and it makes sense to me to have the groups reflect that. I don't need any of this relic shopping stuff. I'm a gatherer now. I want to keep the herbs and the herb parts, because that's what I deal with. And then that leaves me with a base center stabadan group, where all the things I find can get sent over. I'll add my stuff in there, and then we can easily throw it on over. It keeps this group and profile simple, and I can work on refining everything on Stabadan's end. So off to the mail. Use our group to send everything over, and it clears my bags. I'm going to go straight up and vendor the nectar and my armor leftovers I upgraded. That leaves me with some clam meat and pearls. Okay, they're in the group. TSM says it's sending them, but they're still in my bag. If you do get an issue like this, typing slash reload usually fixes things. There we go, that's better. Now we can park ourselves in a rested area, and we're all ready for another adventure later on, without having to take any long flights. So jumping back over to Stabadan, we can pick up all the mail and start organising our selling profile. The green BOEs go here, trade goods go here, we also have some more herb parts, so I can collect those up and combine them, ready to sell as full herbs. Now we're ready to post them back on the auction house. Doesn't look like we've got any sales yet, so let's run a post scan. So on it goes, and we're done. The process is really simple once you start building it up like this. It gives us time to focus on having fun and collecting things on our adventures, and selling them straight away, nice and easily. So there we have it, more gold on the auction house, we're all parked, ready for our adventure next time, and hopefully we'll get some sales in the meantime. So until next time, happy gold making, and I'll see you very soon.